more than six feet high. This is Frank, the most advanced bionic man in the world, here at Washington, D.C.'s Smithsonian Museum. Now, Frank has artificial body parts, including a pumping heart. He's modelled on Dr. Bertolt Meyer from the University of Zurich. Um, so tell me about the purpose of Frank. Why have a bionic man? The purpose of Frank was to find out how far bionic technology has come already. What happens if we get all of the spare parts for the human body that exist already today and put them together in one piece? What would it look like? And this is what it looks like. We have an artificial heart here, which is already used on patients, that pumps artificial blood through his circulatory system that consists of nanoparticles that can give off oxygen just like real blood. We have a first prototype of an artificial lung here, first prototype of a spleen on a chip for cleaning the blood, a first prototype of an implantable artificial kidney. So how close is this to a real human? it's still very far away from a real human. Despite showing how far bionic technology has come already, this project also showed us how little advancements have been made in certain other areas. We were unable to find a replacement for the brain, for example. The most advanced bit of artificial intelligence software that we found was still very, very thick. It's really difficult to have a conversation with. Frank can actually talk as well, so can I ask him some questions? You can, actually. Okay, so I'm interviewing the world's first bionic man. So, Frank, uh, will there be a bionic woman? I hope so. A companion would be great. But unfortunately, I am missing a few important parts. Okay, he's also got a sense of humor. Yeah. Uh, one more question uh, for you, Frank. Uh, will there be a day when uh, bionic uh, people replace us humans? Currently, all of my parts are supposed to benefit humans, not replace them. But even robots have dreams. Okay, well, thanks very much, Bertolt. Thanks very much, Frank. So, uh, there you have it. Uh, he's looking for a partner. Um, so, bionic woman on the lookout.